Hey guys and girls, welcome back to some Labyrinth of Galaria, um, where we left off. Uh, I finally, finally, um, found the, the next location for a Curios de Art. Uh, it was right here in Apsi, Apsi Floor 5. I was shocked to find it, honestly, because I was so lost for a while. Um... There was a point though where you can jump across. I, I think it was this wall area, and and you can just basically kind of explore this whole perp, uh, pink area, and that's what I did until I found it right here. Uh, so so yeah, we're good. We're gonna go back and report this, and hopefully uh, pray to the gods in heaven that this oh, helps me maybe. Up. A natural These conclusion. These are the fruits of my labor. Uh, that this helps me maybe learn um, breathing on the water because I want to explore the on the water area so badly. It's killing me that I, that we we can't do it yet. Welcome back, Fanti. Thanks for all the hard Yay. work again. Um. Amazing. This is amazing. This has to be a curio de art. It's our fourth. How incredible! Ah, uh, phew, that was close. I almost touched it. Madam Granny went to get the count, so please wait for a bit. What do you think, my lord? This is the fourth of your highly coveted curio de art. This is indeed a beautiful piece. Yes, there's no doubt about it. <laughs> I wouldn't touch that if I were you. Apparently, this one will curse off the genitals of any man who touches it. Oh my gosh. Oh. Very well, then. Yeah, you may yeah, um, put it away. Never touch it. It appears that the exploration is progressing smoothly. You've produced satisfying results. Seeing as your compensation has been delayed due to my own affairs, I will arrange for your payment to include your recent discoveries. As for the curio de art you've been looking for, you're just over halfway done with your collection. You've only three out of seven left. But at our current pace, I'd estimate that we have about 30% of the labyrinth left to explore. Hmm, it does appear that way. Seeing as you discovered these curio de art back to back, I had my doubts at first. But it seems like it was the correct decision to keep you on. You've exceeded my initial expectations. <laughs> it wasn't me alone, my lord. I couldn't have done it without Fanti and the little Missy. It's troubling that progress is only made known to me through you. It makes it difficult for me to stay abreast of the situation. Oh, you're still dissatisfied despite how well things are going? Just leave us to our devices, and we'll have the place conquered by spring. If you get too caught up in the weeds, then you're sure to miss the flowers. It is in my nature to be meticulous, as a nobleman responsible for several estates. Managing risk and such are my responsibilities. Hmm. Your estates, eh? Obviously, results are the most important thing. But the first step to lasting results is paying attention to the process. Not that you know. Is that right? I'll think on that some more then. Still, I can't imagine why a man as meticulous as you would keep running into problems with efficiency. Is that sarcasm I hear, Madam Witch? <laughs> Not at all. Merely an observation. Oh, that's right! Please wait one moment, my lord. I was asked to deliver something to you. I'll go get it. Hmm? Stop by. 
Ah, yes. I've already heard about him. That won't be a problem. But don't forget to notify me regarding these matters in the future. I may have hired you as an assistant to the exploration, but you are still an employee here. Yeah, yes sir. I'll be more careful. My apologies. Pulls a letter opener from his pocket. My, my. What's the matter, my lord? Lord Francis Norton, who comes from a long line of artists related to his majesty, is requesting to stay here for several days. Queen Lavalier is less rigid in this regard, but he'll need to be received with a certain degree of hospitality. It appears he'll arrive today. More specifically, sometime this afternoon. He could be here any minute. Uh, um, I... My lord! My lord! A, a guest has arrived! Good grief. <sighs> lord Francis Norton, eh? They just keep coming. Looks like it'll be busy around here again. You can't forget these things, Missy. I'm sorry. If only I'd given him the letter sooner. What's past is past. Also, is that girly in the attic again? How am I supposed to introduce her if she isn't even here? Oh, about that. Eureka explains the previous. Deary me, what have the two of you been up to? How am I supposed to face the Count now, after all that talk about processes and results? I'm really sorry. Even so, I'd heard that the Count was out that day. Are you sure the two of you weren't seeing things? But, but, someone definitely tried to open our door. Oh? Perhaps it was that bird person from the rumors, but that's not likely to be the case. Maybe a thief got in somehow. Wh what Well, as long as the Curio are safe. A thief or two is none of my concern. The Count could do with a little less junk. Um, will you be going out more often from now on too? Yes, that may be happening more frequently. I want the three of you to make as much progress as you can without me. You'll be fine. After all, Fanti will do most of the work. What else is the lantern for? <laughs> Show us what you can do. <laughs> I'm counting on you then, Fanti. But it'll be a problem if we have to continue hiding Nachiru's existence. I guess I'll talk to the Count about her. Oh, right. This is for you. Your bonus. Bunch of coins. I thought it'd be double since he said he'd pay all at once. But it's four times as much. Wow! It appears you've won his trust. Good for you. Work hard to keep it. Yes, I'll do my best! If I remember correctly, you're... Greetings, Madam Witch. I'm Queen Consort Luvalier's attendant. Please pardon my intrusion. Oh, hello, Miss Kay! Good day, Miss Eureka. I'm here today as Lord Norton's attendant and guide, seeing as he's a close friend of Her Highness. I'm so sorry for forgetting to pass on the letter, Miss Kay. Oh, you needn't worry about that. Lord Norton is even less rigid than Her Highness. He's a renowned artist in his own right, so I believe he'll be quite content merely viewing the works of art here. I'll be in your care for the duration of our visit, as will the Lord. We are grateful for your hospitality. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, I guess it's time for me to greet this Lord Norton. <sighs> I'm relieved Lord Norton is so flexible. Madam Witch, please hear out his request. There's something... Troubling him. Please resolve this matter during the extent of his stay, if possible. 
Consider this your current priority above all other requests. <laughs> I see. So he's a prospective patron, is he? Now, where did he get off to? I'm not the most sociable of people, so I'll leave him to you until dinner. <laughs> to think this quiet old manor could be so lively. To think indeed. Why, you must be the Madam Witch of Rumor. Madam Marta, was it? He looks like he could be you her husband. You certainly seem spry. I'm glad to see you're in good health. Yes, yes, thank you. I'm just a humble country witch. And this is my assistant. Nice to meet you! I'm Eureka de Soleil! It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, young lady. Queen Lavalier told me all about you. She said you were a walking contradiction. A hard-working noble with the innocence of blooming flower. How poetic. <laughs> uh, right, right. Was there something troubling you? Ah, yes. But you know, when I think of His Majesty's anguish over the court's corruption, I feel as though my worries are but trifles. Mm. <sighs> uh, yes, indeed. So, what might your grievances be? The conversation in here seems to be quite lively. Shall I bring you all some tea? Ah, Miss Kay! You should join us! It's all right, my lord. I haven't the education to serve as an adequate conversation partner. How has your gout been, my lord? I heard that it's been ten days since your last flare-up. Are you due for another soon? Right, right. That's precisely what I came to consult you about, Madam Witch. Please hear me out. To tell you the truth, madam, I suffer from a dreadful case of gout. The physicians have all given up on me. They're even beginning to recommend opium and folk remedies that might not even work. I know that sorcery and the like isn't a cure-all, but seeing the Queen's new looks has me thinking perchance I could give it a go. Though it's ill-advised for someone my age to make such a long excursion, that is the reason for my visit. Um... What's gout? <laughs> I suppose it is an illness the young wouldn't know of. It begins in the feet, and mine happens to be quite the rascal. The pain can be so excruciating, it incapacitates me. I often entertain the thought of amputating my leg during the worst flare-ups. Once it begins, all I can do is let it run its course, enduring it until it subsides. You can't even imagine... this pain! <laughs> I see, I see. So that's why you've come here. I understand. I will apply every technique at my disposal in an attempt to resolve your ailment during your stay, my lord. And seeing as it's about time for your dinner with the Count, I'll take my leave. Ah, uh, leaving already? You could join us for dinner. No, no, that's quite all right. Night takes a toll on these old bones. Please excuse me. <sighs> Good grief. What a client. Are you okay, Madam Granny? I'm not going to last if he stays too long. What a chatterbox that man is. And if this affects the progress of the exploration, the Count would never let me hear the end of it. Damned if I do, damned if I don't. Now, what am I going to do about Lord Norton's problem? <sighs> I can't think of any good ideas. Really? Nothing? I can think of a bunch. For starters, we could just make him younger. What? Absolutely not. It'll attract unwanted attention if we do too good of a job. 
He could look and act like an entirely different person. We don't like that. I guess. I didn't tamper with the queen's age. I only removed her wrinkles. Huh? Really? Yes. She may have thought it had an effect on her entire body. But in terms of restoring her youth, well, it hardly had any. Like I said, making someone younger could alter their personality. The best solutions are subtle and believable. Basically, fake it till you make it. <laughs> That's no different from fraud. Now I'm starting to get how you've managed to make it this far as a witch. The nerve of you. Always something to say, hmm? Hmm. If the pain is the problem, can't we make it go away? Or is that too hard? That's why we're talking about how to just cure the guy in the first place. Hold on. She might have a point about targeting the pain. It could be possible to create a salve powerful enough to completely numb it. That doesn't solve anything, does it? We're not really getting rid of it. I don't think we'll be able to cure it. And considering our lack of alternatives... So after all that, it's not that much different than opium. Do you understand, Fanti? I want you to bring back these items from underground. I'll also need livestock saliva, straw, and grapes. But you and Nachiru can grab these from the village, all right, Eureka? Yeah, yes, ma'am! I'll do my best! Let's go together, okay, Nachi? <sighs> Get the golden slime mold, false snake egg, and rueful fig. Cause I, I didn't go did I go all the way down in Apsis? I don't actually remember. I don't know.
Has there always been a green event there? Wait. Hold up. Let's go to the end of that real quick. I don't remember there being a green event there, like, period. Am I stupid? Yeah, look, right here. Seems you can enter the aqueducts from here, but you can't hold your breath long enough to go in. Okay. Okay. So, yeah. I'm gonna hopefully get to learn to breathe underwater. So let's head back. Don't worry about explaining it all. Truly, you are a learned individual. If intellectuals like you are among the layfolk, we ought to declare free assembly immediately. You are far too kind. It's our job to expose and decry those who would abuse their power. You must visit my estate back at the capital. Indeed, we shall chat the night away, accompanied by some delicious alcohol. Of course, I'd be deeply obliged. It's an honor to have made your acquaintance. Lord Norton, your vast experience and erudition will be valued by the masses as a treasure greater than the splendid collection of works found here. Splendid, eh? Unfortunately, the appreciation of art is a privilege of the gifted. Alas! Even you can't understand what this means. Prince Hubert, the son of His Highness, has yet to debut as an artist, but I can say with confidence that he is quite the prodigy. He can swiftly draw or carve any request. His talent astounds even his own teachers. He's the very definition of a true genius. I invited him to join me, thinking it could benefit his studies, but he fell ill shortly before the trip. Given his leave from official duties, I'm sure he would have enjoyed the fresh country air. Ah. So Prince Hubert has a rather weak constitution? No, I don't believe it is anything of the sort. However, it would have been a matter of secrecy if he had joined me. He begged me to bring him along, but His Majesty apprehended him first. <laughs> I, I apologize, Lord Norton. But we'll be taking our leave now. We must continue our expedition. Indeed, my apologies for keeping you. The works here, they're called Curio, yes? They're rather avant-garde. I was left awestruck. Gazing at religious art alone can only do so much. It is my hope that artists begin to broaden their horizons. Well then, we best be off. Avant-garde, he says. Poppycock. The, that took so long. So long. This will be quite a problem for us if we cannot get him to leave soon. And the Count's been using that journalist's arrival as an excuse to hole up in his room. Sheesh. Now then. How are things on Fanti's end? Water. I think I saw a... waterway. Water, eh? This won't be easy to deal with. Even for the puppet soldiers? Yes, I should think so. Though puppet soldiers may be immortal Manania, their basic parts function like those of a human body. You can repair their lost limbs and even bring them back from death. But that doesn't change the fact that at their core, they are human. Hence why they cannot accomplish tasks which exceed their human limitations. Obviously, they'd be unable to stay alive. Long story short, traveling underwater is far more difficult than evading curses. Uh, oh, I had no idea. And Fanti would be extinguished too, huh? 
No. The Lantern Day Phantasmagory's flame is fueled by a different power entirely. Being underwater won't pose a problem for it. But the fact that Fanti returned means it's very likely there are no other paths forward. Yeah. Nachi also mentioned that about the waterways. Well, let me think on it a while. Fanti, you keep looking for the materials written on that note. As for you and the girly, hurry on down to the farm. I need you to take care of all the payments we're behind on. I gave Perico money to handle it, but she's been pocketing it this whole time. Good grief. There's just no end to our troubles. Ugh. Listen to me. Even I'm starting to sound like that long-winded buffoon. Come now, hurry along. <coughs> Ma Madam Granny! I I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Phlegm's just a part of life once you're older. Uh, okay. I'm heading out then. Oh, Miss Eureka. I'll be returning to the capital now. Please look after Lord Norton. Take care, Miss Kay. Tell Her Highness I send my best wishes. <laughs> Thank you. You're always in such good spirits. Whoa! Pardon me, miss. Oh, Miss Kay! Are you leaving already? I am, yes. Will I be seeing you again in the capital? The capital? I tend to remain at the Queen's side as her servant, so I may not have much time to myself. But, if you don't mind meeting at the palace, I can usually be found there. <laughs> I'd be in your debt if you could arrange an introduction. I'd love to share all about the florid lifestyle of the nobility with the citizens. <laughs> I merely jest. Such a thing would only result in riots. <laughs> It would indeed. <laughs> I've heard Her Highness is giving a speech during a ceremony while there. I'd love to interview her if that's possible. I understand. I will inquire with her on your behalf. Miss Eureka, I'd also love to hear more about these curio. They're said to have mysterious powers, yes? I don't know much about them, but... I always get in trouble whenever I almost touch them since they're so dangerous. <laughs> oh, dangerous, you say? How so? Uh, I don't really know any details, but... Oh, I remember! There's a curio called the Something Screw. You can't lie while holding it. My, how frightening. Garaya. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you say that, Miss K? Have you something to hide? Even I have secrets, sir. But I doubt I'll be punished too severely for helping myself to Her Highness's leftovers. Well, what a grave confession. I believe I have my headline for tomorrow. Queen's Maid Swipe Citizen Funded Meals. <laughs> I'd surely be in trouble then. In any case, while it is a reporter's job. Well then, Miss Yuri. Okay. Ah. I shipped them. That's right! I hope not- You. Why do you have this? Ha! Like I care! Stupid! Ask Granny! Why can't you just tell me? Let go! I don't care! I don't care! Die! Die! Ow! Hey! No biting! Uh, huh? Oh, I could hear you two from outside. Were you and Perry fighting? Oh, is this the first time you met her? It's fine. She bit me the first time I met her, too. Did you need something? Oh, yeah, that's right. Madam Granny told us to head to the farm, and... She did mention that, didn't she? Yeah, I'm not going. But you can't stay cooped up in this place all the time. It's bad for your posture, Nachi. 
Mind your own business. I hunch over because of my... chest. What? I wish my chest was as big as yours, though. I'm so jealous. <sighs> Knock it off already. A board like you could never understand my pain. So mean! Come on, can't we just go together? No. Please! Make puppy eyes at me all you want. I'm not changing my mind. Go by yourself. Madam Granny did say to ask you how to ride a broom if you ever got stubborn, but I have no idea why. Does she think I can learn to do it too? The hell? That old hag! You have no idea what you're saying, huh? Uh... Huh? Guess not. Fine, fine. I'll go. But I don't want to see or talk to anyone. You handle all that. Great! Then let's go through the woods around back. Kay and Tomas are probably near the entrance still. So if we go through the back, no one will see you. <laughs> What's so funny? You're creeping me out. It's our first time out together, Nachi. The hell? Oh, why is it so bright? So, how do you feel? The sunshine's great, isn't it? <laughs> if I get more sick and die from this, I'm definitely haunting you. Besides, I don't hate being outside. I just hate talking to people. But, but still, it's way too bright. It's cold, but I feel like I'm melting. Huh? It feels so great out here, though. Look, you're talking to the Witch of Soot. I can't handle this stuff to begin with. I prefer to stay still and in the dark. And it's freezing out here. Looking at you in those thin clothes makes me feel three times colder. Of course it's cold. It's winter. My hometown is way colder than this, so it doesn't bother me in the slightest. So, where exactly are you from? The village of Soleil. It's a little town on the side of a mountain in a forest to the north. Never heard of it. That's because it's way, way north. There's a field covered in marguerites. And there's a big windmill. It's really amazing. Huh? I wish I could give you a tour. That's it! We'll go there together next time! I'm sure you'll be shocked! Huh? No thanks. I don't care for the cold or hick towns. I wasn't even interested in the first place. Huh? Why not? Oh, wait. I think we should go right here. Hey, how much farther is it? Feels like we've been walking forever. Hmm? What? Oh, there's a building out here. I think that's the abandoned church. The Count said not to go near it. The Count said so, huh? But it's just some ruins, right? Doesn't look like anyone's used it in a while. D don't do it, Nachi! We'll get in trouble! Did you forget what happened when we went into the storeroom? Uh, well, no one's been using this place, right? Let's just take a little peek inside. Hey, don't touch me! I get it, okay? Mm -mm. <gasps> Meow! Oh, Noir! Noir, come here! I wonder if this is Noir's house. Oh, maybe it's trying to show us how to get to the village. Huh? Why is your head in the clouds all the time? Look, if you wanted to go to the village, shouldn't we have gone left at that stream? Huh? Really? If you'd gone by yourself, you'd definitely be found dead in a ditch by the side of the road. Yeah. <laughs> look, look! We're here, Nachi! Yeah, and we would have been here sooner if you hadn't gotten us lost. <laughs> 
What do you want? Aww. Donkey so cute. <laughs> He's been watching you this whole time, Nachi. But this is freaking me out. Oh, it's big boobs. The girl with big boobs. Hey, old man, that's the one I told you about. Batch, don't be rude. Go on, or I'll tell your mother. <laughs> Apologies, miladies. What brings you here today? <laughs> Skeeving over her boobs. Uh, um, three bales of hay, some livestock drool, and then some grapes. Could I get 13 big grapes closest to the stem? Livestock drool? I won't ask. Is this enough money? Ten gold coins? I can't possibly accept that much. No, Perry, um, I think a little girl from our place took a bunch of stuff from your home without asking. We're so sorry. Oh, yes, her. I see. Then I will gratefully accept. I'll need some time to prepare your order. Please come inside. I excuse the mess. Oh, mind the donkey. He'll bite when he's in a bad mood. Give me a moment. I'll get everything together. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. It's hard work in the fields. I've hardly any free time. That's why I live alone, despite my age. Right then, it's all set. Here you go. I gave you some extra grapes on the house. Easy now. By the way, miss. Uh, um, those... Those clothes are incredible. Are they quite popular in the capital? <laughs> well, would you look at this? The hood on that coat looks handy. I've never seen the like around these parts. Um, if it's all right with you, could I take a look at it? Uh, I am a tailor myself. So I'd love to use it as a reference. Do it. He's a perv. Just to the hell? His Don't touch me. Slap huh? him. Why not? You should let him take a look. Ah, I understand. My apologies. Maybe I can try recreating it from sight alone. <laughs> oh, I know. Uh, how about you stay for a glass of our finest wine? No, thanks. Besides, we're obviously underage. Hmm? Huh? Well then, we'll head home. Thank you very much, Mr. Cognac. Y yes. Uh, if you ever need anything else, please let me know. I'm glad we were able to get everything. Hmm. Nachi? Uh, uh. What's wrong? You suddenly went quiet. No one else is around, you know. This is why I told you I didn't want to go. <laughs> why? Why did I have to come all the way here just to have this happen to me? What happened? Why? <laughs> Was it that traumatizing? <laughs> oh my god. Uh. Huh? N Nachi! Uh, are you okay? What's wrong? I see. Well, it's all right. Just give her some space. All we need now is for Fanti to get the other materials, and we'll be able to make a medicine to take care of the gout. Fanti, we're counting on you! As for the waterway, I think I've figured out what to do about it. Wow, really? Does that mean we can go through it now? 
Yes, that's right. Just like with removing curses, there will be a time limit. But that's to be expected. I won't be able to do it. Basically, if you run out of time underwater, I'll repeat myself. Okay, Fanti. Yay, I can breathe in the water now. Or, well, I can once I do this. I assume. Curious? Or is this normal? I think some of these are, cu are the curious, but I don't know which. Am I eating wardrobe? Yeah, yeah. So some of these are catalog obscure. We're gonna start kind of pinpointing these things a little better, hopefully. Yep, I can swim now. That's gonna become super useful uh, in the indigo windswept area.
have tried smashing through that. Because I'm stupid. Mask, neck, vase. <sighs> okay. thing there. I see it. Wait, wait, wait. Jump! Give. Star and burst death. It's another one down. If you guys need help locating these, this, I hope this does help. I am planning to get as many of these as I can. Um, as I'm trying to push this. Uh, before I get anywhere near like the ending, I want to push this as best I can.
it should be one be one in theory uh, around here. toward that area. Um, I'm gonna mud escape. kidding me fine, fine. I won't Good. show mercy if move. you get in my way great formation too slow I'll go for it vitals good in unison yeah be gone ha! Ha! let's go ha! Ha! residents come you're done for all right Is it right here? It is right here. Okay. Cool. I think this is it. Alright. Okay. Guillotine dice. Oh, wait. What am I doing? Look at these floors again. Um, I think a good majority is back in the apps. I bet there's a way to break this wall. Let's go down to fifth. have to find all of this these damn things.
always be ready. Equipment. Check. Huh. You little cop. Mission complete. What? How didn't I see that? It's hiding in plain sight of fucking wall to break. Okay. Dope. Oh god, I thought that was steps. Thank the lord for the, the safe landing thing. This is where we wanna go. Just see if we have one down here, which I think we do. Not a hundred percent though. Looks like we might not have this one. So 
Let's go try and get that. I'll cut down all in my way. Get to your stations. <laughs> Murder I'll go them. Go for it. Target part. <laughs> Good. Ha! In unison. Resonance combo. <laughs> Pierce. <laughs> Resonance combo. <laughs> Enemy vanquished. Mission complete. Of course I have experience. Take all of you. Get to your stations. Hey. I'll go final strike. <laughs> uh, Good. Let's go. <laughs> After you. Huh. Resonance combo. The obvious outcome. Watch it being in the aqueducts. I'll cut down all in my way. Get to your stations. Hey. I'll go for it. <laughs> in unison. Good. Huh. Resonance come. <laughs> After you. <laughs> huh. A huge success. Just like the countless stars in the sky. one on this floor somewhere just I don't know where wait is it this one it might actually have been this one
That's what I'd call <sighs> certain victory. Resonance combo! In unison! I'll go for... Uh... Good! Seventh floor, which on this one, um, I don't know, it looks like it's probably around it's somewhere in this thing, I think. So we're gonna have to make our way downward. Let the hunt begin. I understand. Hey! Damn! Ha! 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 Pierce! Uh, Be gone! After you. All right! Let's go! I do know some of, I do know some of these I'm gonna get from the story. There's no point in really... Uh, we must go... Getting all of them. Uh, 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 well, there is a point in getting the one. Let's go! I have to get it. After you! Because, um, there is different endings. What's on next? How many material you can grab? But I mean, like I know I won't be able to get them all, but I want to get the ones that I can get, and then uh, basically leave the rest to the story grind. Um, okay, so yeah, there it is, right there. Platform. I understand. Huh. In unison. Ha. Yeah. So I did it. These guys without too much fuss. Ha. Ha. One survived the three hit. Ow. Ow. No chance. Here to help. Horrible. Bullseye. All right. Resonance combo. Babble. Ha. Uh. Equipment. Check. Position. Uh. Yeah. After you. Enemy vanquished. Mission complete. Death of civilization. Uh, next one is definitely down here. I actually might have it because there is one. It's already knocked off right there. Which is what? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have it. Okay. Okay. Um, definitely seems like the rest seem to be uh, from the new spot. So. Let's get out of here. I got stronger. At least a good portion seem to be from the new spot. And we're gonna take a trip uh, into the indigo.
What? Mission start. How is some stuff just appearing on me? Guess this does it so weird. In unison. Random enemy. After you. Good. Oh my god. Here to help. My guy. Resonance combo. I need to, I need to increase the karma. Now's our chance to win. The way that dude was able to break a piece of our, of our body like that was not cool. Okay. steps I popped up Formation formation <laughs> let's go Stay down Stay down <laughs> Island image. Okay. Let's go down to the second floor.
got a bit to go, I think. Um, I really am gonna have to grind up mana at some point just to like get um, different upgrades to stuff like this because being able to only walk like 20 something spaces is kind of garbage. Not gonna lie, I'm not a huge fan of it. right there across from me it's like here ish is there a path that led there there might be something over Good! Ha! I missed? Ha! Let's go! I'll go for it. next. Ha! Uh. That won't get me. Ha! After you. Yeah! The obvious outcome. I have experience. I'm even cuter. JK. Oh my god. 
Oh no. Oh, this is horrible. Ow, we're gonna die. Ow. Ow. Oh, there's a ladder right there. I hate this so much. No, it was right there. Oh, pain. pain and suffering. Okay. Perfect. Ship shape. As long as I can I move. I back to the mission. I'm good now. Almost two hours. Okay. I'm going to end this here, guys. I'm going to probably try and build up enough to get the ADK for this. And then on the, the next part, we'll probably start um, at picking up said curios that I was after on that level. And then kind of go from there. Leave a like, subscribe, share with a friend. Um, and on the next part, we will probably try and get that. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.